We're live. Welcome to another edition of the Get Growing Weekly Work Session with Get Oiling. I'm Coach Ashley. Today we are joined by founder Greg Kilwine, Colin from our team here with Macy, our little baby mascot. Looks like Kim is just popping on. Hello, Kim. And we have a special guest today. Uh, you guys, we have Jessica Doman back with us. As you're coming in, let us know where you're coming in from. Is it sunny and snowing for you like it is for me here today in upstate New York? Um, I hope that you're having a wonderful week. Um, really excited to hear from Jess today. Actually, as you're coming in, if you have joined Jessica Doman's five-day social media makeover challenge and you're doing the steps right now, let us know in the comments. Let us know how you're loving it, what you're learning from it, and what you're excited to learn about today. Jess is here today to take this a step further and, and teach you about how your social profile can help you fill your inbox with people who are excited to chat with you. And if you have been hiding under a rock and you don't know anything about who this is and, uh, and, and, and why we have Jessica here today, you guys, this is a gold leader in Young Living who built a following to now uh, over 70,000 people. Uh, she grew to about 65,000 followers in six months. And she does all of her social media for her entire week for everything for her Young Living three hours a week. Three hours a week, social media is done inbox overflowing with people excited to move forward and consistently signing up one to two new Young Living customers every single week. So we're really excited and honored to have Jess with us today uh, and at last week and, and, and maybe again in the future uh, so that you guys can continue to learn more about how you can use her secrets, use her strategies to get more done, right? We're all about trying to save you time and, uh, and, and help you to grow more efficiently. And Jess is just such a shining example of that. And she manages it all, by the way, with her good oiling system. So <laughs> without further ado, um, real quick, guys, just top of the list here agenda, Jess is going to do some training for us. We have a really exciting announcement to make for you guys in terms of like feature stuff on the platform. Some of you may have heard of it. You're going to see it in action today. And then we're going to do some live website reviews and Jess, for two lucky people, is going to do social profile reviews. So without further ado, Jess, let me give this host over to you so you can share your screen and do your thing and run this show. Thanks for like being here today, Jess. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. So happy to be back again. The social makeover has been booming. Oh, and it's been so much fun to help you all. So I'm excited to really dig in today to talk about three keys to a social profile that grows your business. So let me share my screen here. You guys see me okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just got to move you guys down, Ashley and Greg and Colin. Okay, so I can see. All right, perfect. So you guys, we're going to dig in today. Really wanted to teach on three keys to a social profile that grows your business, okay? Plus, Ashley teased this at the beginning, but I really want to um, show you guys also, we have a big surprise for you, so stay tuned until the end, but um, 14 social posts that you need to master and fill your DMs with great leads, okay? This is exactly how I run my Young Living business. Um so I can share one to two kits a week, sign up new people each week. And this is how I teach my team too. All right. So tip number one, you guys, is a clear profile picture of you with a white or a light background. All right. I've said this before, but it totally bears repeating. The average person looks at your profile when they're scrolling and you have three seconds to capture their attention for them to stop their scroll, read your post, take a look at your profile, see what you're offering, what you're about, all of those things. And while I'm obsessed with babies, got two of my own, and I could plaster them everywhere, that's not the feel that I'm going for for my, so, for my storefront, because that's essentially what so, social media is for me. It's my storefront, just like if I had a brick or mortar. What I want you guys to do is I want you to have a clear profile picture of you, of your face, not of your side, of your beautiful face with a white or a light background. You guys, there is a, um, I'm obsessed with Canva, but there is a background remover setting in Canva. So if you have a, if you're standing in front of, or standing behind, excuse me, in front of something, 
you can use the background remover and be able to have a white background or make it a really light color if you'd like. Okay, that's so important, you guys. People wanna see your face and it should be an up close picture of you. Okay, and you can totally check out my profile for examples. If you're in the social makeover, um, we did this um, already this week and you guys have made some incredible changes, which is gonna make a huge impact on um, attracting your ideal client and customer. All right, our next tip is on Facebook, okay? You have a little section on Facebook and I'm gonna talk about Instagram in a minute, but on Facebook, you wanna update your bio to include who you are, what you stand for, and then your link to your lead group, okay? Your lead group is something that um, Martha um, Krejci talks about a lot, but it's essentially, if you don't have one yet, it's a group where you can nurture your leads. So anybody that's ever asked you about Young Living previously, any, and frankly, any of your ideal, um, any of your current customers should also be in your lead group for any other offerings that you have, et cetera. Um, but you want to link, if you have that available, you want to share that link in your bio. So, and there's not a ton of space in there. I don't know off the top of my head, the character limit, but you want it to include who you are, what you stand for, and your link to your lead group. Mine says something along the lines of working mom hack expert and yes girl, um, and then join my free group, something like that here. Um, so you guys can use mine for an, for an example, but that's how you would set your bio up um, in that bio section on Facebook. And then moving on to Instagram, this is a little bit more lengthy here, but this is crucial, you guys. Um, I've learned this, I've tested it out. And this is, well, if you go to um, anybody on Instagram who has a large following and they're actively um attracting their ideal clients in. This is how their bio is set up, you guys. All right, so this is exactly how you want it to be set up. So your first sentence is what you stand for and who you're serving. Example, putting mom first, that's what mine says. So who are you serving? Are you serving moms? Are you serving women? Are you serving men? Whatever that is, um, you wanna tie that in there, okay? The second sentence is a description of who you are and what you offer. All right, for example, mine says you're no BS mom bestie for all things self-love, mindset, and manifestation, plus creating your dream life. A little lengthy. When I read it back to you, didn't give me the warm and fuzzies. Might, I might want to might want to shorten that a bit. Um, but that captures in there everything that I am and everything that I stand for and all and young living as well, right? Which is about self-love for me. It's about mindset. It's about moms. That's who my target client is. The third sentence in your bio is your testimonials or your expertise. So in mine, I say, I've helped thousands of thousands take their date back. I think I had in their moms and then there was a character limit. So I've helped thousands take their date back. This is where you would also feature, if you were listed, um, like if you were featured in, in a magazine, like in Vogue, whatever, Vogue is the first one that comes to mind for me, you would, you would list that here. That's why when you go to some, um, some people's pages, they'll say featured in shape, Vogue, whatever. Um, that's where you would list that. All right. And then the last sentence, you guys, what's oh, kind of cut off here, um, is click the link to take your day back. So this is my link page, which I know Ashley shared on a couple, um, a couple of weeks ago in the weekly work session, she shared my actual link page that she created for me, which is so beautiful by the way. Um, so this is where in Instagram, you're only allowed to link within your bio itself from one link. So this is why you want something like a link page, like I have, you're welcome to go to my profile and see it. Or I know Ashley's uploaded uh, the weekly work session on YouTube. You guys can go back and see it as well. Um, for you to create your own link page. But this is where you would have like, um, you, you know, your sign up link, your website, your get oiling website, all of that, where people can see everything that you offer. Okay. So that is the last call to act. That's your call to action that you want to have in your Instagram bio. All right. So I know that was lengthy, but you guys, it's super important and really easy to do. Okay, I'm gonna move forward and we're gonna talk about step number three. This is not, not everyone's gonna like me saying this, but I'm just gonna say it anyways, because it's the truth. Um, your privacy settings, your social profile pages, your pages should be public. I know that there are some, sec some security 
concerns from a lot of people, especially if you're showing your kids, et cetera. You do whatever feels right to you. But my ultimate goal in um, social media is growing my business beyond beyond my current city that I live in, right? And the way for me to do that and leverage that without leaving my home is social media. And if my pages aren't public, then no one else is going to be able to find me outside of, you know, my little community or unless they're friends with my friends, et cetera. And I want to create this really broad network of tons of people that I can help because that's what it's about for me. So I would encourage you, if you're wanting to grow on social media, you want to grow your business, you want to grow your paycheck, you want to have your DMs filled with your ideal clients, all the things that I'm teaching you guys to do, your, um, your privacy settings really should be public, all right? Okay, and then I have a bonus for you. This is tip four, because just why not, right? Um, so, and I see this a lot for people and, and I don't, I'm not really sure the reasons why behind it, but um, your profile name should be your name, your first and your last name. I know that like, maybe it's cute for your nickname or something like that. But if you're using social media for the goal that it is and to be in your business, um, you want it to be your first and your last name, okay? All right. Now, y'all, drum roll, please. Um, we're going to talk about the 14 post recipes for endless posts that you need to master filling your DMs with great leads, okay? So as I've been going through the social makeover challenge, which if you haven't joined us yet, you can still totally jump in. Um, but I've been hearing from a lot of you that um, you need some help and some ideas on content, all right? So I have created um, all of the types of posts that I use on Facebook and Instagram in this social post recipe guide. So it includes instructions in, and examples um, on when and how to use them, et cetera. So you guys can get this now. Here's the link. This is live. This is what it looks like. And you guys, this is designed to be a rinse and repeat for you. So no longer should you sit down and go to post something and think, I don't know what I should post about today. What should I post about today? I don't know. This is literally, <laughs> there are so, there are endless amount of posts with this. Okay, you guys, it's a literally a rinse and repeat. So when I sit down and I write my content for the whole month and just an hour, the, this is what I use. Okay. I literally, and I, and I, it's super easy. Um, I've totally taken the complication out of um, posting content for you guys. All right. And this is all here in the social post guide. And again, the link right here, guide.modernsocialmama.com is where you guys can get it. Okay. It's free to you. Go ahead and click on it. All right. And then when you grab your guide, you guys, you're also going to score an exclusive seat in my live masterclass that's host that I'm hosting next week. Okay. So I'm going to run through it all with you next week. <laughs> um, you guys are, can you see my emails now? I guess I should have shut these off, huh? Because now they're going to be coming in. I'll be getting your social post guides. There we go, um, which I'm so excited for you guys. Um, but next week, you guys join my master class. You guys are going to be getting more information about it um, with links to join, where to show up, all of that. But I'm going to break down for you guys this um, social post guide. So you can, again, the goal of this is to really take out all the complications of posting. It should be really easy for you guys to sit down and create content for the whole month on both Facebook and Instagram in one hour, y'all. All right. Um, that's the goal. We do not need to overcomplicate it. It can be super simple, super easy. And there are tons of different ways you can use this um, social post recipe guide to really to make it your own and to make it content forever. There are endless amounts um, for it, you guys. All right. So, and I said, that's kind of in here, but in the masterclass, we're going to learn the revelations that led me, you guys, from burnout on social media, because that was me. And frankly, I've heard that from a lot of you too, that you were feeling burnout as well, um, to a following of 65,000 in six months. Okay. Um, also an inbox full, so in DMs full of people asking how to get started. And then this is how I add one to two new Young Living customers each week, you guys, literally. <laughs> While I'm sitting on my couch <laughs> and they're all over the world, it's super fun. 
And of course, I'm going to break it down for you guys to show, um, show you my strategies and my systems, how um, you can put these to work to grow your social media. Okay. That's what it's about in three hours a week. All right. I don't want, there's no need for you guys to spend every waking second online, <laughs> um, scrolling, trying to engage with your ideal customers, all these things. Okay. Um, you're going to use my tips and my strategies for them to come to you, you guys. Um, it's everything that I do each day. It's everything that I teach my team and it freaking works. Okay. So you can um, get the guide and grab your seat. So go to guide.modernsocialmama.com. Right. I'm sure the QA is blowing up here. <laughs> this so is so let me cool. Stop sharing. So I, I'm actually, I'm kind of curious, right? Cause you know, I've been working with a lot of you guys uh, who are a part of this community for years now. How many of you have enrolled one person who you met online on social media into your Young Living business? Just show of hands. If you're here right now, how many of you have, have found and enrolled one person into, into your team from, you know, just, just from social, right? Okay. A handful, small amount. Um, okay. So Jess. What would you say your percentage is at this point of like people that you have enrolled that you've met on social? Like what percentage of your business do you think that that represents? 95. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. Are you guys hearing this, right? 95% of Jess's gold organization mm -hmm. have come from people that she has met on social following these strategies. And when you go to guide.modernsocialmama.com now, you're going to get her entire formula for all of the different types of posts that she makes and see examples about uh, what, like how, how you put them to use, right? So if you wanted to make it easier for you, if you didn't quite know, well, what do I do with a curiosity post? Here's a way you can theme it out, right? You have, you've totally demystified the whole thing. There could be an entire course on this thing that you're giving away <laughs> and she's giving it away, you guys. And by the way, again, just to reiterate, when you go guide.modernsocialmama.com and you get that download, you're going to get access to one of six live opportunities to be on a call next week with Jess and she's going to teach you how it's used <laughs> and some other really cool stuff. So uh, make sure you are signed up for that. Share this with your teams. This is something that is duplicable. Your team is duplicating this. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I was also going to share their enrollments are roughly, I would say 95% too off of social media um, until prior to the, um, the pandemic, the state of the world that we're in, we were really just dib dabbling a little bit more in in-person stuff. And we are so grateful that we can rock social media um, because of what's going on in the world right now. So yeah, which is really, which is very cool, you guys, because it totally makes it, you know, the dream that you can work from anywhere, you really can work from anywhere. Mm -hmm. If you've got a business that can operate globally, why not build your team globally? Oh, that's so good. So good. All right. So Jess, you had a couple of people, um, win a profile review with you. So just yes. like we do website reviews, Jess is going to do some social profile reviews today. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to share my screen too, while I do them, if that's okay. I just sent it back to you, Ashley. So you might actually have to send it back to me again. Oh, oh, you know what? Hang on. Let's make sure you well, are. Let's, let's, let's call them out first. Is, yes. um, so my two reviews are Candace um, Barrow. Candace, I was going to do you first. And then Sheila Meyer. If Sheila, if you'll just hold on, I'm going to do Candace. Okay, looks like they're both here. All right. Okay, let me share. Here we go. All right, Candace. So I have your Facebook page pulled up here and let me just take a look. Okay. So, um, love your picture. I know that you updated this. It looks fantastic. I love that. It's your face. It's light in the background. I can't really get a good, like clear picture of your cover photo. Um, so my recommendation to you would be, if this is important to you, maybe see if you can resize it or refit it. 
Um, so we can see it a little bit better because it looks a little confusing to me, cheaper than therapy and you get tomatoes. Um, so I, I guess I would ask you to either put that into frame more or maybe change it. So it's a little bit more warming and inviting with some faces with your face or your family's face, et cetera, on there. Um, in addition, I see this here. Um, what you business owner, wellness seeker, oily believer. Okay, great. And so you must not, I'm assuming you don't have a, essentially a lead group, Candace, otherwise you'd have a link here. My only other feedback that I'll give you is oily believer. While I love that. And that's me and all of us on here, right? I will tell you, this is the sad truth. And I've, I've shared this um, during our social makeover challenge as well with some of you, but <clears throat> Unfortunately, there are people out there that will come, that will see you, see your posts, come to your page and see that um, you're into oils and will automatically think MLM and will turn people off. That really sucks, but it does happen. And um, so I would encourage you to um, maybe to remove the oily part um, or, to, or to say it in a different way, like plant, I don't know, uh, plant goddess or something like that. Um, because it's not going to tip people to, for them to, if they have a negative connotation with MLMs, um, we want them to be able to talk to you. Right. Um, so that would be my advice for you, Candace. Let me just scroll down and see what you're posting. All right. Okay. So some shares and some memories. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, Okay. All right. So that would be my feedback for you, Candace would be, um, take a look at your cover photo, look about switch. Uh, consider switching that out. And then also, um, we will want to, um, discuss further, really putting a link in there where people can find more information out for you. You could also list your, your get oiling website in here. That'd be a great opportunity for that. If you do not currently have a lead group. Okay. Um, that would be a great thing for you guys to do. So work on getting that updated as well. And then consider changing that oily believer. All right. I'm not reading Candace. If you're writing back to me, Ashley, can you see anything? Let me see. Let me see. I don't see in the chat. No, um, I don't see anything there. Just a quick tip, that photo that you're using, Candice, if you get Canva and you, um, and you choose Facebook pro, uh, cover photo, just put that, that in it and do whatever else you want to do to it so that it has the resolution like Jess was talking about. And by the way, you guys, I think I'm going to pop this in the, um, in our chat here. Um, the recording of the training I did with your, uh, your, uh, link page, uh, Jess, that's yeah. a perfect thing. If you don't have a custom homepage set up on get oiling yet, make a social link page, mm -hmm. right? Make a social link page, uh, just like Jess is like the one that we showed. And you can put that in your Facebook and your Instagram bio. All right. Perfect. Okay. So I stopped sharing for one second, you guys, because Sheila, we're going to review your profile next. Just have to find you. I don't have that handy. So let me pull you up here and let's review your profile. All right, here you are. Let me go back and share my screen here with y'all. All right, Miss Sheila. Okay. I love, love, love your picture here. Beautiful. Oh, I love the background, except for I'm not a big fan of snow, but I won't hold that against you. That's great. Okay. And then go ahead for it. Love it. Great bio. Quick, easy to read. Love, love, love that you have a link here. Love that. Does this work? Oh, yep, it does. Cool. This takes you to your group. Awesome. Love that. That looks amazing, Sheila. Great job. Great job. So people know what you're about. They can say like, oh, I resonate with that. Or, oh, gut health warrior. I need to know more about that. What does that mean? Right. And then they'll want to click follow or scroll down like I'm about to do. Ooh. All right. Okay. Love this here as well. Looks great, Sheila. Honestly, so good. I fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. I love that you have the customized URL here. Yeah. Looks great, Sheila. I don't have any any feedback to share with you other than good job. Looks fantastic. So good. Awesome. Yeah, really nice. I, I'm not a big fan of the snow either, but that's a beautiful picture. It is. <laughs> and it's it's really nice. Like it's a I don't know, aesthetically with your face and then the snow. Really, really, really good. Awesome. So um, this is this is super exciting, you guys. Um, we have. Oh, sorry. I was just trying to check a message here. I think I think we're good to that end, Greg, um, or 
call on whoever just messaged me. <laughs> um, all right, so real quick, uh, you guys, I want to show you uh, what it looks like when you go to guide.modernsocialmama.com. And this is also, um, so I'm, I'm going to show you what you should be doing right now, A. <laughs> and B, I'm actually going to demo for you a really exciting new feature announcement. Now, Greg, you talked about this uh, earlier in the week, and I think maybe even last week, we've got a support article in getoiling.com about this. The degree to which you can customize what I'm about to show you is it's, it's not infinite, but it's close. And so uh, to keep your brain from exploding today, we're going to show you what it can look like for you when you use this. Guys, it's automations. Have you ever wished that when you opted into something or maybe you opted someone in and you wanted to maybe give them options of two different campaigns or uh, a text one or an email one, if you ever wanted to do something like that, but you don't want them to have to, I don't know, fill out their name and email again on another page, now you can have someone click a link and instantly be signed up for a campaign or any number of different things. They can be tagged, a campaign can be removed, they can be added to a vault, all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like. Uh, and then uh, we've got a, oh, Jess, will you make me host again? <laughs> Uh, and then we've got a uh, website review as well. And then you guys, if you've got questions, if you came here with looking for help, <laughs> if you're kind of wondering, okay, what do I do with all of this? Ask us questions. We're here to help you. Uh, and we've got Jess with us as well. And I did see a couple of interesting co uh, questions coming in around like sort of positioning social profiles, using featured images and stuff like that. So some cool questions to get to here as well. But I wanted to go ahead and show this, A, because you need to sign up on this page right now, you guys, and B, because well, this is just so flippin' exciting. Um, I've I've been looking forward to us having this feature for some time now. And um, yeah, so when you go to guide.modernsocialmama.com, you're gonna see that Jess is offering this 14-day social post recipe guide. It breaks down all of the elements, including the examples, what's included, what it does for your business, how frequently you should be using them for all of the different types of social posts that Jess uses. So when you go here and you say, yes, I want it, get it now, you're gonna sign yourself up and you're gonna get this, right? It's gonna go to your email inbox right away. This is built on Get Oiling, of course. All right, so we sign ourselves up on this page, which everybody should be doing this, right? Okay, so check this out. There is a video here of Jess. Jess is going to tell you something cool here. She's gonna share some information about not only that social post guide, but also this masterclass that Jess is hosting next week. There are six times available as of the recording currently. When you click on any of these, and this is the cool thing about like what, what our site can do now, and this is so exciting. You click on any of these, it is going to RSVP you for that date and time, and you are going to receive a campaign message that's going to confirm your seat at that date and time, as well as a reminder before you go live with the link to join. For every one of these, they are all, all of them coded up to go tag, campaign, and so on. So you can replicate this experience on your site if you wanted to do something like this. If you wanted to have a page where you say, hey, I have got all of these different classes and maybe they're Grow Workspace ways, right? And uh, and if you want to get my trove of classes, check this out and you they, that can be delivered by email or whatever. They can go to a page like this that has all of these links and stuff on it and that will put them on a campaign. It'll tag them in your system right? If that's how you set it up to go. Pretty cool, right? So I'm going to say, so Jess has these that are going to be going in her Facebook group and her um, uh, Unjudged Motherhood Project, right? That's, that's what it's called. Uh, and then we'll also have Jess back with us, surprise, surprise, on next week's Get Oilings uh, or Get Growing Weekly Work Session to catch this training too. So any of these you click, you are going to get an email, you're going to get a confirmation, and you're going to get a reminder. So pretty, pretty cool heading over to this confirmation page, no matter what thing you click on. Anyway, I thought that would be a really fun thing to share. <laughs> Greg, if you wanna, I don't know, if you wanna add anything more to sort of how the automations work, thought it'd be helpful to show it. Yeah, that's an awesome demo. And I mean, I was as I was watching this, I'm like, this is like a really powerful funnel strategy, the way that you've got this laid out. You've got the landing page that goes right to that video. 
gets them to engage more one click to like go further it's it's really awesome i mean <laughs> really cool uh i put a link in the help or in the chat here um to uh, the automations help article i did like a 20 or so minute overview and training on automations if you want to go in if this is the sort of thing you're interested in uh doing you can definitely dive in and learn more there there's also a downloadable guide that has like step by step this is how you set it up for like if you want to set up set up an automation on a landing page or create the automation itself it's all in there a nice big pdf uh, along with the help article so if you're not on live um, you can go to help.getoiling.com and search for automations or just click that little green icon in the lower right hand corner and search automations and it will pop up the help article that might be one you want to open a new window there's a lot there but uh it's it's fun it's powerful it's once you get it get a uh, grasp on it it's actually pretty simple what you can do uh, but you can also do lots of powerful things easy to set up and you can do powerful things with it i'll say that way <laughs> yeah yeah. So, yeah i'll show you guys one more thing that i think is really exciting so uh you know how when you're inside of a member area you have to have logged in to get into the member area right so what if you wanted to offer a challenge like what Jess has right now with the social makeover challenge. Let me show you this real quick. So Jess has a social makeover challenge. By the way, if you go to modernsocialmama.com, you can enter this challenge whenever you want to, whenever you're seeing this video. And you'll get added to this vault here where you have a five day curriculum, okay? Now, check it out. Up here in this about section, I do have if you want daily emails to remind you to come back, right? So if you wanna get this five day campaign that's attached to this, you can click here. And it's also in the challenge, um, the about section of the challenge as well. Now, what happens is, is, is if you are in Jess's challenge and you know maybe today is not the day, like I'm not ready to get started on this, but I really do wanna kind of boot camp this and go through the five steps and I wanna start it next week. Okay, cool. You can click on this whenever you want to and it will trigger that campaign from inside the vault. Think about what this can do for it, you guys. Oh my gosh, not everybody wants every campaign and every piece of information all the time, right? Think about how you can educate your members this way without you know, a barrage of information. You can drip things out in a really strategic way or allow them to self-select when and if they receive these campaigns. Really, really exciting stuff. So all you have to do is click a, a, this link right there and uh, and of course we are in the campaign and i don't know where i just went with that <laughs> i need to i need to fix that redirect there if i if i have a redirect that's on me anyway but um really 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 cool stuff that that can do so um all right so if anybody has questions there was one in the chat i wanted to call out that was more for you jess um about mm, Let's see, Gwen says, another great tip I've heard is to limit your featured photos to just one of you with text on it with your lead group and put the link to the lead group in the comments of that photo. So how do you use your featured photos, like on Facebook, for instance? So I think what you're referring to as featured photos, I think are cover photos, how at least I'm referring to them. Um, I think it's on the left-hand side, you know, the little ones that are like when you're looking at the photo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I refer to that as like, yeah, your, your bio picture, if you will, but yes. Okay. Same thing. So, um, limit your featured photos to just one on text. Okay. So I don't know how you would do that. Cause it's a small photo with, um, your lead group link, but here are my thoughts on that. So because I'm selling, you know, personal brand, people are buying from us, right? Um, and Young Living, instead of, you know, at least initially the products, right? They're buying us first. They're trusting us with our testimonials, et cetera, et cetera. I don't, um, I'm not out showing them all of those things because I feel like um, in building that rapport and that trust with me, um, that's building that relationship versus I'm trying to get a bunch of people to follow me, right? That are my ideal customers. And it will turn a lot of people off if you show up um, like you're being salesy, which to me that sort of is right. There's not a way to, to put that on a picture with a link that, that doesn't scream sales or sell, um, at me. That's my opinion. Um, I've never done something like that. Um, that doesn't mean it won't work, but it wouldn't be my recommendation. Oh, I think so. So Gwen has an example here. Oh, let me see. Yeah, let me so here, let's, um, oh, yep. I huh. see. Yeah, I I, I, yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so, well, it doesn't look like I can see your link from my view. Um, 
Do you see it, Ashley? Like, it looks like it's behind your picture. So I can't, I can't really yeah, I can't quite tell. Is this, um, so click on the photo. Oh, I see, super simple snacks and meals on the go. Click here to download your copy. I see, so it is, it's like that background photo. And there is, um, there is a link there. Um, yeah, I mean, I, okay. Yeah, I, oh, oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, so it it's hiding behind your picture on my view for whatever reason. So I can't even see that it says download your guide here. Um, if it's working for you, keep it. Again, it wouldn't necessarily be my recommendation because I because I I, I do I do feel um I, I um I do feel like it's a little it's a little pushy. I would like that more in your bio written here. Like needs need super simple snacks on the go click here mm -hmm. like down in the wording below your picture instead of up here mm -hmm. and it, i think it optimizes the experience as well right because I, maybe that image works really well and it's easy to see on mobile right but like when we're yeah. looking at it on the screen on a computer it's not the same yeah that's true i'm going to try to look it up gwen because what we can see it from ashley and i are looking at our computers is you can't see what your text says behind there at all um, so that doesn't, I would also be wondering if, if that doesn't mean that you're getting very many leads, although, mm -hmm. you know, a ton of people use their phones. So maybe, yeah. So I can't see it. I can't see it on my phone either. It's covered behind. Mm. So, Another thing too. And I, and I think this is a kind of to your point of, uh, of a lot of what maybe folks will be learning a little more about in the coming weeks, or maybe you talk about it more in the five day challenge is, you know, when, when people meet you, they don't need to like, especially with your profile, like if you were a business page, like having that as a cover on a business page, I think could make a lot of sense if it's formatted so that you can see it. But if people are just meeting you on social, um, they don't need to necessarily see or feel like you have something to sell them, even if it's a free thing to get their email, right? Mm -hmm. Um, because you, you want your personal to be really personal so that you can make those personal connections, make those friends that could become your members. Right. I mean, would you, would you add anything to that, Jess? Yeah, I, I would say absolutely, Ashley. And you, you said it much more eloquently than me about, you know, I'm, I'm building the relationships with people. So, you know, as I'm talking and having those conversations, I, I want to talk to them and know that this is what they're looking for, um, on my, on my social channels. Right. So, so they slide into my DMS and we're talking there and then they'll say, well, I'm looking for this. And then I would send them a link right to my landing page or, or whatever. Um, and so that feels more, more warm to me than, um, especially within young living, right? Because if somebody clicks on my link, I, I haven't obviously taken a deep guy, uh, dive into your guide, but, um, you know, if, if they go to my link and they'll see like, there's a million different options to get started. Right. And I really feel like it's my job to handhold them to say like, okay, this is what you're looking for. Then, then this is what you should be getting. Right. You want energy, you want, you know, gut health, whatever. Let's start with a Ninksha starter kit or whatever that, whatever that can be. So I want to have those conversations with people. I'm all about automation and having a website and all of those things, but I'm really using social media to, to talk to my people one-on-one, um, -on -one, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. And here's a good follow-up question for that. Holly asks, to what extent do you talk to people? Do your videos uh, and posts to responses, like do, do those take care of that? Like what is what is you communicating and conversing with someone entail? Yeah, I, I do. I do talk to people, absolutely. Um, and a lot of that is covered in my posts, like, you know, what I'm doing, whatever. But a lot of times you guys in my curiosity posts, I'll get so many messages. Like, what are you doing? What do you mean? You don't have the 3 PM slump or, you know, whatever you have all this energy now or something like that. Um, I'll get all these messages and that's really, that starts the conversation. So I am talking to them one-on-one -on -one, and, um, that builds a larger rapport with them. It allows me to know what they're looking for. So then I can say like, Oh, she needs energy. She needs super B or she needs Ninksha or whatever that is versus um, them just seeing my posts or commenting and just saying, you know, whatever, something general, I get to have that more in-depth conversation with them. I love it. I love it. So everything that you're doing in these posts that, that you're giving away and you're teaching folks how to, to use and make, um, they're, they're helping those people to arrive at your inbox, excited to have a conversation with you or at least on your page. 
right? Yep, exactly. So the point of everything you guys, like, and I know I keep saying it, but it really is, is I want your DMs to be filled with your ideal clients asking you questions about things that's how we're going to convert them to be members and builders and all of that is we have to have those conversations with them. There are very, very, very few people that are going to see our posts and say, I want that. And I'm in, right. Those are awesome people, but it doesn't happen always like that. So we need to have a conversation with them, right. To warm them and really guide them on what they need uh, moving forward. So, yeah, so that's the point of all of this, of the, these posts, um, So you can get the engagement so you can get the people to come to you in your DMs and talk to you. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. This is so exciting. I'm so excited to see you guys benefit from this. Uh, You know, just as a personal note, years ago when I was building organizations in this industry, this is what I did too, right? Like Jess has mastered this and it burned me out. (laughs) Jess has mastered this in a way that I never did. It's part of why I'm not even on social anymore. I'm just like, oh, I can't. Well, she figured out how to do this, you guys. And, and just three, three hours a week. Yeah. Three hours a week. That's it. That's all I have time for. And it works. (laughs) Yeah. It's all you have time for. You've got two littles, you got two under five. And, and, and you're, and you're making food and it's healthy and, and you're taking care of you and you've got this amazing balanced life and you're doing this three hours a week. Yes. It's, it's extraordinary. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. You guys guide.modernsocialmama.com. Go grab that guide and pick a time to be on this live training next week. So you can learn how to do what just does. Everybody should be doing this. Right. Um, and honestly, just to to kind of put this out here, a lot of us feel all kinds of different ways about social media these days, right? If you want to grow your Young Living business and have an infinite amount of potential people to join your team at any given point in time, this is the way to do it. Are there ways to, to do it that are not this by, you know, SEO and writing blog posts and being an expert in this or that? Yes. It takes a lot more time to get to that point, (laughs) right? This is the fast track to exposure, to, uh, to growth, to momentum, and honestly to duplication because everybody can have a Facebook account. And a lot of what Jess teaches, the reason why this is so duplicable is that it's, it's super low tech. It's, it's being yourself. It's showing up in a particular way and positioning yourself for people to come to you. So I hope that you guys are paying attention. I hope that you're following every word that she says, because guys, this stuff works. This stuff works. Guide.modernsocialmama.com. Jess, is any other remarks you want to add here before we go off into a website review for Christina and some Q&A? You know, I'm just going to answer one more question here. Jan mm-hmm. asked, tips on lead group startup. So um, Jan, I would just say, for you to get really curious and start becoming aware of what lights you up for young living. Is it gut health? Is it energy? Whatever that is. And to come up with a group, name it, don't put a ton of thought into it. The name doesn't have to be super catchy and perfect and, um, start putting some love in there. Like, you know, what else, what else could you share about in there and get your people in there? Anybody who asks you about oils or, you know, any of the other incredible young living products, put them in there and say, Hey, I have this group where like, I'm sharing more about this. Would you care to be added when they ask you about young living products, put them in there. And then you can start, you know, sharing in there, those types of groups, you can share more product, um, product posts and service type posts than you can in your personal page, right? Cause they're already in there. They've given you permission and they want to know all about young living. So, um, that would be my recommendation on how you can get started, um, with a lead group. Okay. So, so exciting. Thank you. Don't, don't overthink it. Lead groups are incredible. Just make a place you would want to hang out. <laughs> for sure. Yes. Good advice. Awesome. Thank you so much for being with us, Jess. You're f- feel free to uh, to pitch in at any point or answer any questions that come up uh, should you see them. Awesome. So uh, there is a question here from Jamie uh, that I am happy to take. And then uh, Christina, if you could raise your hand for me so I can find you uh, and then we can take a look at your site. Awesome. I'm going to get to you in just a moment. Thank you so much. All right, Jamie, 
Is there an outline that offers a what to do from start to finish? There are so many amazing things we can do with these websites. It would be amazing to have a type of boot camp that carries you through the process from scratch to customizing your website. So that last part of what you said is an example of a thing that is capable kind of of being taught from start to finish. The funny thing about what we have here uh, is that it can kind of be whatever you want it to be. Um, if you are purely a, a social media marketer and you're showing up on social, you could get away with running your business with the Get Oiling Contact Manager and having a link page and then maybe like a freebie that you link to off of that. You, you, could, you could use one or two aspects of our system and never use the other ones and, and get your money's worth 10 times over. So it really kind of depends on how you want to run things. So the way that I would recommend sort of getting started is to look at what you're doing in your business right now and ask yourself, what are you repeating the most, right? What is the thing that you could do or have or create that could take that extra time off your plate so that you can point instead of talk? For, for the thing that you do the most, start with that. A lot of times that's creating a saved reply uh, inside of Get Oiling, that's uh, you know going to share the information and the links that you would share on a, on a regular basis. Sometimes it could mean building a page. Now, if you want to build your own homepage, um, I would love to have a sort of boot camp course on that. We do actually have several member created amazing courses on this, and you can go to the uh, the Get Oiling homepage and then to our partner section uh, at our marketplace, and you can see some really really cool stuff that's there created by our members. Members. Simple Grace Co. Uh, in particular is coming to mind for me. Uh, Ali Dean did one as well. There's, there's a few that are out there that are really great. So um, highly recommend checking those out, but just get started with the thing that you're already doing. I think one of the most difficult things that we can, uh, one of those difficult situations we can put ourselves into is to try to create something out of nothing with something that also doesn't exist yet, right? So if you have a business, uh, then you say, this is what my business does, write it all out. And then we format it on a page and make it pretty. And we do have trainings that show you how to format and make backgrounds and, you know, make things look all magical and cool. Uh, but make it, you know, based on something that you're already saying, you already have the words, right? You already have the function. It fulfills a function that already exists. Does that make sense? Um, if you want to, if you want to create a freebie or a guide, think about five or three or two pieces of advice that you have given frequently that have helped people and then put them into a word file and export it as a PDF. Now you can upload it to the system. We've got training that teaches you how to do that. And you can offer that as a freebie in exchange to get a lead, right? We can be very uncomplicated about this, but we do have to make sure that we are not trying to engage the, uh, I don't know which side is which of the brain, but like, you know, there's the one side that's creative and then there's the other side that's analytical. We have the analytical side covered, you know, with all of the techie bits and get oiling, bring the creative to it, have the creative stuff decided, bring it here. And now you have everything that you need and you plug it all together and you don't fry your brain out trying to engage both sides at a time. <laughs> I hope that helps, it's a really long-winded answer. Um, let's see, Jamie, yes. Uh, and uh, and it, it kind of depends. So reach out to support and we can see what the different options are that might work for you. Uh, we also have like just an amazing Facebook group with incredible members of this community who are really wonderful and share a lot of their insights. So if you wanted to kind of share where you're at, there is, um, you know, there's advice in the community. And of course, if you wanted to reach out and see if coaching is a fit, then that's something that you could certainly do as well. And you can just reach out to support for that. All right. I think Colin, you're getting that question. Great. Thank you. Okay. 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 Christina, let's talk. Thanks for Hello. coming on. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. Tell me a little bit about uh, what kind of help you're looking for today. Um, well, first of all, I want to do a shout out because I've been working on um, funnel for a court for courses that I've got embed kind of embedded in my um, page. But Greg mm -hmm. and his team have just been spectacular in my a million, okay, I promise this is my last question. Oh, no, it's not kind of days. So I just really wanted to shout out to them and thank them so much. I've, I've really moved along and it wouldn't have happened without them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you. Mostly, um, so I've asked friends and people, you know, 
have a look at my website, see what you think. And you get, oh, that's nice. You know, you don't get a lot of concrete kind of constructive criticism. So, I mean, if there's if there's things that um, aren't working from what, how you're seeing it on your devices, I've recently realized how different colors are between a laptop and an iPad and an iPhone. Um, but, it, you know, like just, um, I don't know, just thoughts on my site. Yeah, well, <laughs> let's, really let's go ahead. <laughs> so let's let's play around with this a little bit. Okay. So this is um so this this is sort of a desktop view. We can shrink the browser down and kind of get an idea of what this might look like if we were on mobile, right? Yep. Oh, I love this picture of you. Awesome. Love, love, love. That that is it it exudes personality and that is great. Okay. That's a little long. <laughs> It is, it is. And we can talk about that in just a second. Oh, look at, look at, look at that background. Look at that. Ooh, look at that parallax background she did with the sparkles. Oh, that's nice. Good job. Okay. Oil education, coaching courses. You um, see that button? I can't get that button to move for the life of me, but you know, it's really? just little things like that, right? Okay. Okay. I, I think we, we might be able to sleuth that out. <laughs> sometimes the editor is just, you know, sometimes the editor is weird. Our team is amazing. Our software is great, but tech is tech. And sometimes yeah. it's uh, sometimes it wants to do its own thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and especially like, so if, if you don't code, if you don't know code yeah. um, or how to edit it, I, I'm always super, um, I'm always super nervous. I'm like, Greg, tell me how to do this so I don't break it. Um, if I want to change something, uh, sometimes it's just a matter of code. So let's um, let me log in. Um, just got logged into your account. So let me let's go over here. What is this named? Uh, that's the coaching. Uh, well, that's the um, well, that's the front page where that tag is. Funny. Okay. So is that, what, what do you know? What new perspective name? wellness. Yeah. New perspective wellness right there. Yeah. Okay. 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 Excellent. I like this font too. It's a nice font. I like it. I don't use it a lot because it's really, it's really stylized, but um, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's a good call. That's a good call. All right. So I have, oh, yeah. I've given this just a little, little bit of space. Yeah. There we go. All right, so here. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I know, right? I know. <laughs> All right, so let's let's look at it again. It's funny, these things you look at them so much and you just mm -hmm. you can't work your way. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, you got it. You got mm -hmm. it. That's good. Okay, so um I've talked about this a bit before. Uh, with uh, a great organization here, by the way, you've got a lot of you've got a lot of a lot of stuff here. What I would consider doing potentially, just because of the way that the um, the menu as it is can sort of start wrapping. Do you see how it's doing yep. that as yep. we shrink it? I would recommend you potentially kind of seeing how you can organize into fewer top bar items here, okay. so that you can have longer drop downs. Um, okay. Yeah. So like, you know, something like, um, you know, place and order starter kits, opportunity, all of that can kind of go under one, uh, one, uh, one item there, one menu item. And actually I'm, I want to, I want to add some space here too. Here, okay. look, let me show you how to yeah. do that. So in this section here, you see how close that is Yeah. So it's called padding. We did a back, okay. uh, we did a training on custom page section backgrounds. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you just increase the top padding there. You see how it's moving. It oh, down yeah. A bit? Yeah. Right. Now, can you can you combine the opportunity piece into like a, a smaller one? Because um, I find sometimes with the stock menu items, you can't change them too much. But mm. well, so you have something that's totally custom. So you can really do whatever you want okay. with that. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Let me show you an example here. So you, you mentioned this, this is a bit long. And one of the things that we want to make sure that we're doing when people land on our site uh, are, you know, two main things. Um, first, we need to make sure that they know that this is about them. 
And there's, you know, the main way we do that is we use this space right here mm -hmm. uh, to not just repeat our branding, uh, but more importantly to, but uh, more importantly to repeat the fact that our brand is about them. So this okay. is actually prime real estate for you to just speak straight into the heart of the person that you want to be reaching and coaching and, and, you know, providing courses and working with right now. Yep. So, um, so, so what I would recommend that you do to that end is, um, is allow for, you know, your, the, the name brand of your website is here your logo is here so we don't need to have it here and okay. i wouldn't i wouldn't put the brand partner here either similar to what jess was talking about earlier okay. we want people to arrive here and have an openness and not um not have assumptions right and unfortunately you know google's a thing and you know you you want to allow people the opportunity to connect with you first yep. for you to open that door and they're open to walking through it so um so speak to your person here and then when okay. it comes to, to speaking about you, what I would do here is, is consider how you can make the first few sentences of your bio mm -hmm. speak to how you know you can help your person. Okay. And then, and then have it sort of trail off in an ellipsis, give them a link or a button to where they can go and learn more about you on okay. another page. So an example of this, I, I show this one, uh, frequently is our friend Jackie, who is a platinum leader in Young Living. Yeah. So she's speaking to um, to women who are um, you know nearing to retirement or in retirement, and she's telling them that their best is yet to come. And here's okay. how she helps them. Right? Uh, she's got information here. Obviously, having an, another thing that you could do up here if you have one, have some kind of a lead magnet and offer for people yeah. to click into right yeah. right here. Yeah. And then what she has down here in her about section, you know, is, is she is kind of giving this context to who she helps. She is talking about her, but then mm -hmm. she's got a lot, it's a longer, she has a longer about a lot of us have longer about sections. So okay. when you click off, you can actually go through and see. Oh, I like story. that. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Jess did this too. Jess, Jess has got this. I can shout you out. We helped with the first one. Jess just totally redid this with a friend, I think. So here we go. So Jess, I'm so glad you're here. And yeah. and she's, again, she's speaking straight to her person. And then she's got yeah. an about page that's separate as well. Okay. Right? And it's a bit longer. Oh, that looks so cool with those. I like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Okay, yeah, so that's a great, that's a great tip. Excellent. Yeah. So that's, that's really the main thing that, that I would, I would consider changing here is, is okay. just providing a way for you to just speak straight to them. And then if you have something that you can offer them that will uh, grow your leads list, right. That will have them qualify yeah. themselves and show that there's someone that they, that you should be speaking with, then that's going to be, that's going to be a great thing to put right here. Okay, great. Yeah. Awesome. Do you have any other, any other questions? No, I think, um, um, that's really helpful. Good. Very, very I'm helpful. Glad. Excellent. Well, you've been doing really great work. It looks really nice. I love that blue and green. It's great colors. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Thank for you being very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, I think there was another question and another. Oh, yes. Hi, Jan. Yes, we can show you how to add blogs to your homepage. Um, let me see. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's actually quite simple if you have a custom homepage uh, and I'll go ahead and just demo this uh, and then take it off of Christina's page really quick since we're right here. So Jan, if you wanted to, if this was your custom homepage, uh, if you wanted to maybe down here have your most recent blog post show up, all you have to do is click this little add a section, right? And then you scroll down here to recent blog posts and you can do the two one or the three one or the three rows, these guys right down here. And that is going to, it's gonna look a little funny when you add it, right? It's gonna look like this, but if you have recent blog posts, it's going to show all of those with their titles and a button to, uh, to click off and to go check out that blog post. Um, it'll show up on the page and it'll look really nice. If you don't want a button, then um, I believe, Greg, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> I believe you can just delete this blog three button code or blog two button code and just have the title in the image. And then finally, um, finally, what I recommend that you do, uh, let me make sure this is saved. What you want to make sure that you do is in your um, in your blogs, 
make sure that you are using a featured image in all of them and it's uploaded right here because that's going to show up on that blog section you need to have a featured image there or this isn't going to work so just make sure that every blog post that you has you have has a featured image and you know bonus points if you want to use um, a pretty uh, canva image and put that here and i think jess you do that don't you don't you do that on your blog yeah yeah, on uh, my real food ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the pictures that you pick out. These are really great. And yeah, you can see on Jessica's homepage. You might you you could actually look on yes. real food. Actually, it's been a while since I, there you go. Oh, okay. got you. Yeah, yeah. So you can actually see these, these are, you selected these specific ones that you wanted to show here, but you said real food. Yes. I want to look for the real food tag. There it is. There it is. Yep. So this is an example of one. And actually, um, you could even have this turn sideways. There is, I want to say, I, isn't it a blog? It's, it's, it's a blog image template in Canva. I would probably, um, it might work even better to rotate uh, the dimensions of it if you wanted to. But you don't have to. You could just simply use an image and um, and put that there. So I hope that that helps. Always good to see your name pop up here, Jan. Hope you're doing well. Awesome. Okay. Any other questions? I think we're good. All right. Great. Okay, you guys. I hope that you got the guide. Guide.modernsocialmama.com. And I uh, certainly look forward to seeing you on our next live session and on a, one of Jess's master classes next week. You guys, tell your teams, tell your friends, this is Team YL. This is such a great way for you to grow. And, uh, and again, like this is combining what you do with, with Good Oiling. Jess, I'm so excited for you to share the stuff that you've been doing. It's so exciting to see. Awesome. All right, so you guys, we'll see you back same time next week. Let's Brady Bunch this. Colin, this is your chance. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was waiting the entire call for this moment. <laughs> I should have done it sooner. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Yes, excellent. All right. Thank you all for being here. We will see you next week. <laughs>